Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be looking at its base labs.ai and looking at a few notable updates with its image to video models and a feature of AI history that it added recently. So hop on to base labs.ai and enter your login credentials and your end of the interface similar to this one. Click generate. I also in a previous video reviewed base labs.ai. So if you have not watched that, I would recommend watching that and then watching this one to better understand the tool. So while we have two image inputs, basically, firstly, we can give it text through which it can generate an image and then we can convert that image into video model or if we can just give it an image to our preference and then it's going to convert that into a video. Let's try out the text to image model and then to video. So for this, I'm going to enter the prompt. So for this example, I'm going to be using the prompt, a samurai neon pink armor futuristic sci-fi. Click create images. So while this is generating, let's hop on. Okay, so while this is being, this is generating, let's hop on and let's try the image input and convert that into video. So for this example, I'll be using this pastel colored image journey generated image of a castle. So for this example, I'll be using this mid journey generated AI image, which is of a Disney tiled castle. Click next. So there are two updates here. Firstly, the AI image history where we can access all the source images that we have entered previously. Second update is going to be its image to video model which firstly is the svd model and the second is i2v gen model so first with this we're going to try the i2v gen model which is a little different compared to the svd model so firstly they a quick tip from base labs themselves the i2v gen model works best with an aspect ratio of 16 by 9 so firstly we're going to try this i2v gen model with an as with an image of 3 by 4 then we're going to also try it out with an aspect ratio 16 by 9 and see it for ourselves the difference let's enter the prompt so i have concisely described the image and click make video okay so our first visual has been generated and so of for our first variant i don't like it second variant third variant and fourth variant so i like the third variant because that's what i was looking forward to other than that if i look at the first variant i don't know what's going on with that the second variant is something's wrong with the face it could not properly generate the face and in the fourth variant the fourth variant is also good but i kind of like the third variant because there's also something in the background as well okay so let's convert this into video and we will be using the svd model the svd model works best with okay a quick tip here the svd model is basically a slider which you can control the motion from 1 to 255 where you adjust the motion is totally dependent on what the image you're inputting so for this image i'm going which is of a samurai in a living room in japanese style so i don't want much motion in that because if i add a lot of motion it's gonna ruin the video so i'm gonna opt for a image of a motion of only 30 and we're gonna go for standard quality this time and let's create make a video on that while our two videos are being processed for visual one and the mid journey image of a disney style castle let's hop on with a new tab and let's try out for ourselves with the i2v gen aspect ratio 16 by 9 and see the difference for ourselves so for this okay so for the third example i'll be using a, again a mid -gen generated image of batman versus superman face to face close up shot so i2v gen model and let's describe it Upload. Uh, 
Okay, for this example, I went into little detail on describing the image. I described the image as a close-up shot of Batman versus Superman coming face to face, rainy, smoky background. Let's make a video. Okay, so our first video, a first example, which was text to image and image to video has been generated and it added a little motion to my liking, but I but I think I could have added more, but it's fine. Okay, so now we can either publish it to the community of Base Labs. We can download it for our own use or we can smoothen it as well. So first we're gonna smoothen the video. Okay, so for second example, which was image to video has also been converted into a video and I kinda like this one, but I think the problem with this video is that the I2V gen model kinda zoomed in the video. However, I like how it added the motion. There are a few things to notice here. Firstly, this area has been submerged with the background along with this area as well. However, I what I think base Labs did, which I think is pretty good on the motion and how it was able to just add this sparkling effect and just animate a full glowing look. So I kind of like this one well done base Labs on this. Which we, were, we are going to smoothen this one as well. Okay, so our first visual has been smoothened out. And I think there was a little, there is a little difference in the resolution of the video. Also a quick notice, right now base Labs can only generate up to 2 seconds of video. Uh, but in the future, I think they, they are going to expand it along with they are going to add aspect ratios to user preferences as well, just like we can do in Runway ML and Pika Lab. So I'm going to download this one and hopefully going to use it in some of my future videos. So our second example video has also been smoothened out and as you can see, there is a little difference in resolution this time as well. I see the difference of how the fireflies are actually moving slower this time and in more direction and also there is a difference on how they are looking in the quality as well. Okay, so there is a little difference this time in image resolution again and in how the fireflies are actually moving in a direction and how they are smoothing out and they are also moving very slowly. We are going to download this one as well. Okay, so our third visual has also been converted into a video and I kind of like this one on how the rain is moving, how the background is showing the smoky effect and how both Superman and Batman are, have a little movement in the head, not too much and not too little and noticeable as well. We're gonna smoothen out this one and then see the video quality. So okay, as you can see, our video has been smoothened out and there is a difference in resolution on how the background in the background the rain is moving along with the smoke and also in the armor as in the armor of both Superman and Batman, the reflection is quite realistic in on both on this on the super on the S logo on the chest of Superman along with the black armor of Batman on and also the mask of Batman as well. And the forehead of Superman is also go in reflecting the moonlight so well done base labs on this one it's quite realistic even if you look at the body uh, body on, of the head of face of superman which is on the air as well and the chin and the neck as well so well done base Labs has my praise on this one so so i'm going to download this one as well and hopefully going to use it in it in one of my videos so okay guys that's it for this video and i hope you enjoyed and if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and smash that bell icon so you don't ever miss me exploring new ai tools and how they can work and make our work ai workflow better whether they're making ai ad creatives or ai movies or just simple ai images and also don't forget to comment below which example was your favorite see you in the next video